Hello, I've had a Vauxhall van brought to me to have a look at a cold start issue. So I'm trying to start this car yet. Yeah. It is eight and a half outside. So this car's been parked here for some hours. I haven't tried to start it yet. So these are the lights that I'm all on. So I don't know if it's a long cranking or anything about it. I haven't tried to do anything, but I have read the fault codes. So diagnostic trouble codes. And the only fault that is stored is the EGR valve. Customers inform me though, EGR valve has been blanked off. So nothing really that's given me any sort of information. I've read, tried to read the data stream to see if there's a misfire counter. See if I do start up, see if I can catch a particular cylinder that's causing me an issue. But as you can see through this list, there's nothing of the sort. So the only other thing I can see at the moment to do, because we're just getting into this, is the actuation test. We have got a injector cut off test, so I can cut off some injectors. So I'll leave that on there. See if it can pinpoint a cylinder. So I'm going to try to start now. Let's just see what happens. I don't know if it's a long cranking. So this lot of smoke comes out the back as well, so that's something that we need to have a look at too. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so it did take quite a long time to start there. But it's not running. Really, he says a lot of smoke comes out the back. So let's have a look. Not sure how the camera's catching that, but it is. There's some smoke coming out the back there. You can see it just seems to be a bit of a miss when you hear the exhaust tone. So does it sound like it's running very well? So quite hard to catch the smoke. So we're back in the van. There's a bit of surging going on. And you can just feel the mist firing as well now. So I'm going to try and cut off some injectors, see what happens. So I'm just going to carry out the test now. Let's just show you what happens. So if I Cut off number one. So if I turn this off now, look at the needle. So it makes a big difference. We can see the RPMs here as well. So we do that again. So if I turn that one off, see it drops right down. It's misfiring heavily. So I've got the light back on again, so just to show you. It's running really rough now. So if I go back, we go back into number four. And we cut out this injector. This is just making no change whatsoever. back on even though it's only back on it's that bad so but I'll show you what it looks like under the bonnet as well so you can see the misfire of the engine you can see we're in the engine bay now and look you can see the engine shaking quite a lot with the misfire so we put out number one keep an eye on the engine 
And here our rough cuts go in. So we'll turn this one back on. Now, if I go to number four injector again, and I cut out this injector, you can see now that's off. As you can see, there's no change for this engine whatsoever. Let me turn it back on and see. You can do the same for number two. So if I go to number two injector and I turn that off. You can see how much of a change that's making. And I'll just show you the last one we haven't done. So again, if I put this injector off. Very, very rough running. And then back on, smooth it out. Just to do one more time, injector four. So we'll turn that off. And as you can see, this makes no difference to those engines running that injector being off. So we'll turn it back on. So it's on and see so the issue there number four injector is what we're looking at we do a just a uh, relative compression test on this engine just to make sure everything's okay if not we're looking at getting that injector tested and repaired or replaced so keep tuned let's see what we can find so i've loaded up a wiring diagram to see what fuses are where so i need to stop the car from running to carry out this next test so as you can see here, this is the fuel pump relay and it's located in the engine bay. So I'm going to take this relay out, stop the fuel pump from working, and then we'll do the test. So here's the van. And it says in the engine compartment there should be some fuses. So I guess that's come here. The relay will be located around there. So we'll get that removed. So we've got it removed and just like what it said it was in the bottom right. So have a look at this diagram it looks exactly the same as this so bottom right one this is the one that we're going to be taking out so just pull this out and as you can see there just remember you make sure you know so let's see if it's let's give it a crank and make sure it isn't running anymore Okay, and as we can see then, the engine doesn't start. So what we're gonna do now for our next test is I need to put an amp clamp around a lead. And this just show you down the back. Just grab my torch. So down the back, down there, as you see, there's a red cable and that is going to the starter motor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an amp clamp round that on an oscilloscope and i'm going to check to make sure the current draws are all the same so this is what i use it's a just amp clamp when you open it up it's clamp onto the lead like so and we'll do that test we'll crank it and we'll see what current we're drawing so we've done the relative compression test now and it's a good job I do because I straight away I see something that I don't like. So we should have four of these, so one, two, three, and then another four, and then one, two, three, four, and they should all be level, but as you can see here, we only have one, two, then there's no four, there's a big gap missing, so that indicates there's a problem on a cylinder. And then again, one, two, three, and there should be a fourth one. And as you can see, it's very, exactly the same all the time. So it looks like we have potentially got a compression issue on this engine. So we need to have go a little bit further to see what is going on. So looking at them drawers, as you can see, there's a massive gap here. 
like you say, where they should be, another cylinder. So there should always be compression strokes, it should always go up. And as you can see, massive dive here, so there's an issue here. What's it looking to? So another thing to show you is just how the engine sounds when it's cranking. It just sounds a bit off as well. This is always uh, another telltale sign. Should be very consecutive. No, uh, you know, it should always be consecutive like, on the cranking. So, another little insight to see that may be going on there. So, I've loaded up a wiring diagram then to find out which injector is number four. So, this, this is showing I've clicked into injector four. And if I scroll down, it just gives me some wire colours white and blue and if we have a look into what's going on let's pull this over it comes quite apparent straight away someone's already had this over it looks like so that's white and blue so that's definitely number four and as you can see this one's green also it makes me a bit more suspicious now i can see that that one has also been marked so Looks like somebody. So this guy's only bought this van quite recently, so potentially this has been sold with a problem it would seem. So I'm gonna speak to the owner now, see what I wanna do and don't wanna be breaking any glow plugs in the head and then I'll be breaking any injectors like I say. Probably the first thing would be to interchange these. But we'll see what he wants to do. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you.